In today's video, we are going to be talking about hair, more specifically, how I take good care of my bleached and colored hair. So if that's your thing, please keep on watching. Some of the products that I'll be mentioning are not here, so but I'll be showing uh, photos of those products because some of the products already used them up and I didn't repurchase them yet because I don't think it's necessary to repurchase them just for the sake of making a video. First in the category is, are the shampoos that I use. The first one that I'm gonna mention is not here, but I'll be putting up a photo here. It's the Tresemme Blonde Brilliance line. I have the Blonde Brilliance treatment, but the shampoo, I already used them up. Uh, the first quarter of this year, I was using that shampoo alone. And I'll have to say, it really maintained the color of my hair. It lasted, the color of my hair lasted for three months. However, the issue of my hair with that shampoo is that it's so dry. I mentioned in the past that it's the most drying uh, purple shampoo that I ever used. Generally, purple shampoos are really drying. But with that shampoo, at least in my experience, I really need a lot of hair conditioner after using that shampoo. So technically, it works in preserving the color of your hair, but you have to use more conditioner and hair serum to maintain the softness of your hair. I forgot to mention earlier, I've been coloring my hair for almost two years already, and I bleach and color my hair every after four months. I also made a YouTube Shorts video on the products that I use in coloring my hair. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. Okay, back to regular programming. Okay, so the next shampoo that I use is this L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Color Care System. And this is the purple shampoo. I repeatedly uh, repurchased this a lot of times for the past two years. I really like this if I just recolored my hair. So the first month that I colored my hair, this is my shampoo. For your reference, I color my hair every other day. I just uh, recolored my hair last month. So this hair color is already a month and this is the shampoo that I've been using. It's, uh, and as you can see, the color is still there and it's not as brassy as it looks. This shampoo neutralizes the brassiness, the yellowish or orangey-ish color of my hair. So as you guys can see, my hair is not that super duper brassy. Yes, there's a difference in color here. But at least it still looks decent. My only complaint about this is that it's quite expensive. This is like 425 pesos for 200 ml. This shampoo lasted me for 6 to 8 weeks with the length of my hair. And again, I wash my hair every other day. And with how often I wash my hair and the color of my hair is still like this, I think it's kind of worth it. Also, this is less drying than Tresemme. The next one is not here, but I have the conditioner. So it's the L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Moisture Shampoo. This line of L'Oreal uh, Ever Pure Sulfate Free Shampoos, um, I discovered it uh, since I was bleaching my hair probably six years ago, since 2018. It's the only shampoo and conditioner that I've been using. Before I discovered this uh, purple shampoo, I've been using this uh, uh, line of shampoo. What I do love about the Everpure uh, Moisture Shampoo from L'Oreal is that it's not drying at all. I even tried not using conditioner after uh, using the Moisture Shampoo. And I'll have to say, my hair is still soft and you can feel that it's really nourished and moisturized. The Everpure uh, Moisture Shampoo is also a tad cheaper than uh, the purple one because for for 250 ml and it is 389 pesos. It's still pricey, but with the effect that it's giving, it's also worth it. If you are in on a budget just like me right now, uh, I would suggest you could also try out this uh, Lux Organics uh, by Brass Color Toning Purple Shampoo. Girl, this is ginormous. This is like 270 ml for 169 pesos. This is really the cheapest uh, purple conditioning shampoo that I saw. This is the cheapest purple shampoo on the market right now, I believe. I haven't opened this one yet, but I did try this before uh, earlier last year and it did uh, work. This is the shampoo that I used uh, the first quarter of uh, last year and I remember having a yellow hair. I remember uh, a lot of people complimenting the color of my hair at the time because this shampoo didn't strip the color of my hair. This is just a bit drying also considering that, you know, it's a purple shampoo. However, with a good amount of conditioner that you use and hair serum that you put uh, or you apply on your hair, then I think uh, uh, it can combat the dryness that it gives. I also tried the uh, purple conditioner counterpart of this one and they also work. The next category would be conditioner. I already mentioned uh, the L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Moisture Conditioner and I mentioned in the past on my empties videos that this is the best conditioner that I have for my colored hair. I will not talk too much about this because this is already tried and tested. So uh, if you have uh, colored hair, 
you should try this one because it doesn't make your hair brassy and it keeps your hair moisture. The current conditioner that I'm using right now, and I, as you guys can see with my hair, it's less tangly, it's soft, and it's bouncy. I've been using this for almost six years now. This has always been my safest choice when it comes to my colored and bleach hair. And I refer to just this, I can't count anymore. I also use the Ever Pure um, purple conditioner of this one. It does the job and it's also great. However, when it comes to moisture, I think the moisture conditioner wins. I forgot to mention the downside of using purple shampoo or purple conditioner. Since it's purple shampoo and conditioner, the color of this one is purple. So it, you expect that it will be messy on your bathroom. And sometimes, especially this line, this purple uh, shampoo, it's kind of like difficult to clean up. Another option if you're on a budget is this Hairfix Beat Brass Purple Conditioner. I did mention in my past empties videos that I didn't feel the effect of this one when it comes to uh, moisturizing my hair or keeping my hair soft. However, it also didn't strip the color of my hair and it didn't make my hair brassy. So I think it's still worth it. Ah, I think it's still worth a try. Next one is I have this uh, Love Color Hair Enhanced Hair Purple Shampoo and Conditioner. So it's a packet. This one, I use this right after I color and bleach my hair because it has treatment uh, properties that makes my hair softer right after bleaching or coloring my hair. I also bring this with me when I travel because it's just on a sachet. Compared to my other products, this is very convenient to pack. Moving on, let's go to hair treatment. Hair treatment, I only use it for uh, once a week, right after shampoo and conditioner. And then I uh, let it sit for three to five minutes before I wash it off. So the current hair treatment that I'm using right now is this Tresemme Blonde Brilliance hair treatment. Okay, this is quite me messy because it comes out as purple like this. And uh, however, this is quite easy to clean up if it ever messes with your bathroom. What I do like about this is that it, my hair is so soft and my hair is easy to detangle when I'm using this one. Compared to the shampoo variant of Tresemme, this is, I think, more worth it than the shampoo. It's also quite generous because I believe I only got it for like 350 pesos online, but it's 400 ml. Another uh, hair treatment that I used uh, last year but I already emptied it is the Watson's Color Care Hair System. This hair product is a cheaper alternative because for only, I think, I believe that's like 400 ml and uh, I only got it for 220 to 230 pesos. Also, it's not messy on the bathroom because it comes out as color white so you won't be having trouble or problem cleaning up your back. And again, like I said, it also didn't strip the color of my hair. So I highly recommend that product. Moving on, let's go to hair serum. First one that I have is this L'Oreal Mythic Oil. I like this hair serum also because it makes my hair shiny and soft. And I love the smell of this one. It smells luxury. The problem of this one is I cannot travel with this because the packaging is glass. And also this is quite difficult to find because I only got this online. And for this uh, bottle, I pay, I think I paid 1,100 pesos. So <laughs> I am using this sparingly as much as possible. But the effect that it gives to my hair is also good because even though I'm out and about and I'm under the sun, my hair still smells nice. It's still soft and it's still detangled. So the next uh, hair serum that I brought with me when I'm traveling is this Pen Shop Shiny and Smooth Freeze Free Scalp and Hair Nourishment. This is a great hair oil, especially for the tips of my hair. My hair is bleached and colored multiple times already. And of course, you expect that the tips of your hair is very dry. But when I use this hair oil, and also this one, of course, it makes my hair nourished, soft, and uh, less tangled. This is also great for travel because it's only 30 ml and uh, the packaging is plastic. Oh, also this is only 65 pesos. That ends our video for today and thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, links of the products will be down in the description box. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye!